So the next uh, paper is titled Childhood Asthma and its Association with Selected Obstetric and Neonatal Factors Among Children Aged 3 to 10 Years in Tertiary Care Hospitals in Colombo District. It's authored by Dean F.A.H. Uh, Kottahachi K.C., Pereira S.S., Disanayaka D.M.O.C., Jayakadua J.S., and Udugondage C. and Jayakodi S., and presented by Dean F.A.H. Good afternoon. Thank you, SLMA, for giving us this opportunity to present our undergraduate research. Our topic is Childhood Asthma and its Association with Selected obstetric and neonatal factors among children aged 3 to 10 years in tertiary referral care centers in Colombo District. This is our outline for today. As most of you know, asthma is the most common chronic childhood disease that causes worldwide mortality and morbidity. In the context of Sri Lanka, asthma prevalence has been reported as high as 26% in a research done in 2009. Asthma has a multifactorial etiology where these factors are stipulated to be modified through uh, perinatal programming, which factors like gestation diabetes mellitus and maternal hypothyroidism are considered to be such programming factors that have been extensively studied. Neonatal anthropometric measurements at birth have been considered outcomes of such perinatal programming. Thus, the importance to study the association between asthma and such programmers. Our objectives included to determine the proportion of children who are diagnosed with childhood asthma presenting to tertiary care centers as well. The study design was a cross-sectional analytical study where the study setting was pediatric clinics and boards at Columbus South Teaching Hospital and Lady Ridgeway Hospital for children. We studied 266 children aged 3 to 10 years where children with multiple comorbidities and those with uh, no CHDR in their position or not accompanied by their mothers were excluded. The sample size was calculation, calculated using the standard formula for sample size calculation where the pre prevalence was in reference to the study done in Gampa district in 2009. A systematic sampling method was ca carried out where data was collected from every other child using an interviewer administered questionnaire where GINA assessment of severity and control was part of it. The use of clinician diagnosis of asthma was considered. The study variables had four categories, which included social demographic factors, neonatal factors, obstetric factors, and clinician diagnosed asthma-related factors. The data for these factors were extracted using the questionnaire and the CHDR as shown here. The data was analyzed using bivariate analysis using SPSS software where the results revealed 29.7% of the study population to be diagnosed with childhood asthma. A similar percentage of children were diagnosed with childhood asthma across gender, different ethnic groups, and different age categories. The children who were diagnosed with asthma had an age of onset less than four years, and the majority of them belonged to well-controlled category, and majority belonged to step two category of severity according to GINA assessment. This table shows the distribution of the children with asthma according to the, uh, those with positive and negative according to different variables. The, these, on, on these variables, we carried out bivariate analysis using chi-square test and two sample t-test, which revealed advanced maternal age, maternal hypothyroidism, diabetes mellitus exposure in utero, gestation diabetes mellitus, and family history, along with the birth length being sick, statistically significant. Uh, these variables that were studied were sorry these variables that we studied were not in, were in line with that of previous literature while these variables in the study were not in line with previous literature but the birth length being associated had not been previously studied thus in conclusion we we have found that gestation diabetes mellitus uh, advanced maternal age, maternal hypothyroidism, and exposure to diabetes mellitus, along with neonatal factor being birth length, have statistically significant association, even though uh, demographic variables are not associated. Therefore, we recommend to create awareness uh, regarding these factors that have been positive and take these factors into consideration in determining and creating policies and planning regarding maternal and child health care in Sri Lanka. And also we, deter we suggest to have routine follow-up of children 
who have been identified with such positive factors in early screening of childhood asthma and early prompt treatment. And also, we therefore emphasize the importance to carry further extensive research regarding this subject matter so that we can achieve prevention and control of the global burden of childhood asthma. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dean. Uh, floor is open for discussion. How many mothers were asthmatic of this group? Uh, they yeah. have a diabetes, they have a hypothyroid. Yeah. How many of them were uh, we actually looked into the family history of bronchial asthma. Uh, we didn't actually take into consider whether the mother was having from, uh, bronchial asthma, but we took all first line and second line relatives of the child to have bronchial asthma. Is it important to look at the mothers? Because yes, it is important. It's such a common problem. Yeah, it is important. So, uh, that is actually one of our confounding factors. We are, uh, but we didn't separate as the mother and the uh, second line, uh, second generations of having uh, childhood family history, we took the mother having family history as family history of bronchial asthma. Uh, other than the uh, birth length, did you consider any other anthropometric? Uh, yeah, we considered birth weight, uh, head circumference of the baby as anthropometric measurements, but we couldn't find any association. It was the same in previous literature also. So if there is an association, how are you going to use it for prevention of asthma in the child? Uh, in the child, uh, what, I, what we suggest is, from my knowledge as an undergraduate, is uh, these factors such as gestation diabetes, mellitus, hypothyroidism, they're common uh, factors that we meet in obstetric practice. So if we can uh, have measures, uh, maybe join along with the community health service in Sri Lanka and make sure that you have prevention and pro control and awareness about gestation diabetes, mellitus, and hypothyroidism, uh, to mothers who are expecting as pre-pregnancy counseling also to say that they might develop asthma, especially with those having family history. Is it too much for a mother to know that I'm having diabetes and my child is going to have asthma? No, no actually I think uh, we, sh we as doctors should uh, take measures through the community health uh, uh, prevention uh, sector to make sure that their mothers are aware that gestation diabetes mellitus will cause morbidity in their child in future so that they would have good control and early detection, which we see uh, in our daily practice that mothers are very uh, negligent on gestation diabetes but mellitus control. No. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Okay, in the absence of questions, I would say thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you.